So let's have a little bit of fun with the topic. When we come back, I want to talk about five fragrances in my collection that have garnered me the most compliments, hands down. Stay tuned. First off, I want to go full disclosure on this one. Despite what the topic may say, or what the title, I should say, may have said, don't expect these fragrances to actually get you guys women. That has to come from you, from within. The fragrance only enhances what you already have or what you're building to have or building to gain. So going about or going through life thinking that buying a fragrance is going to help you get women, that's a no-no. But here are five fragrances in my collection that I personally have gotten the craziest reactions to. Now, I'm not going to tell the story behind it. If you go back and watch some of my older videos, I've talked about these, at least four of these fragrances before. As a matter of fact, I've talked about all five of these fragrances before, and I've given the story behind them. All five of these fragrances have given me fond memories, so without further ado, let's get to it. So, at the number five spot, I'm going to go with one that is the most hated slash beloved fragrances in the fragrance community from the house of Armoff. This is Club De Nui Intense Man. Now, I'm not going to go into any note breakdowns on any of these fragrances simply because they've been around for a while. People know them. People know what they're a clone of. And if you don't, maybe you need to Google it, look it up a little bit, or go back and watch some of my older videos. But Club De Nui Intense Man is an inspired by, or if you want to consider it a clone of Creed Aventus, this is our Moss version, a more affordable version. If you don't want to save up coin or buy a whole bunch of decants, you can readily pick this one or any one of the flankers up at a decent price ranging from around 30 to maybe 45 50 bucks depending on where you get it from but at the number five spot once again from the house of armoff club de nui intense man so coming up in the number four spot one of my most complimented fragrances of all time in my collection my personal collection guys this list is not comprised of fragrances that other people have said were their most complimented. This is my personal collection and what I've gotten compliments by. So in the number four spot, this is Tres Nui Pour Homme by the House of Armoff. And this is an inspired by or clone of Creed's Green Irish Tweed or Davidoff's Cool Water. Either way. It also kind of reminds me of, there's another one, I can't remember the name of it right now, uh, but anyway, this is one of my most complimented fragrances in my collection, and if this actually was a real list, this would be a lot higher up, but being that I just grabbed five fragrances that I know for a fact have gotten me compliments, that's what I went with, but Trace the Wheat is very fresh, a bit green, very smooth, and you can't go wrong with this fragrance. Very affordable, around the 25 to maybe 30, 35, 40 bucks, depending on where you get it from. But once again, in the number four spot, Trace the Wheat by Armand. In the number three spot 
from Liz Claiborne. One of the fragrances that I have hyped since I came into the game, a fragrance that only cost me about nine to 10 bucks, Bora Bora. And this fragrance is ultra fresh, fruity, has some citrus in it. And although a lot of people may not like this fragrance because it, it is dated, but it doesn't to me smell dated. The bottle looks dated, but a very nice fragrance, one that I reach for a lot spring and summer, and could be a little higher up on this list also, but I think the number three spot suffices, Bora Bora by Liz Claiborne. Now, in the number two spot, this fragrance, I, I want to tell the story, but I'm not going to do it because... Like I said in one of my other videos, I know there are people out there who care less about my stories and want to know more about the fragrances. And I don't really give a lot of performance information because what works for me and gives me eight plus hours or five plus or three plus may not do the same for you. So that's something you have to figure out on your own. But in the number two spot, which I also, just from the story alone, can put this at number one. From Giorgio Armani, this is Aqua de Gio Absolute. Now, this fragrance, I've also realized, gets a lot of hate. And I see a lot of people selling this fragrance off on the Facebook. I don't know why people don't like this fragrance, but it's sweet, woody, very fresh, crisp, and I absolutely love it. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this since I had it. I found another bottle of this online, but since I slacked off from buying it, uh, from wearing it, I should say, a whole lot, um, I decided not to go for the second bottle, the backup bottle, but this is more than enough. Once again, from Aqua de, from. Giorgio Armani, this Aqua Di Gio, absolute. So at the number one spot, I've had these bottles sitting on my shelf in videos and people have constantly asked me about them. Sometimes I can give you information and others I can't because it's hard to find good information about these fragrances and what's in them. But what I do get from this one, which is Imperial Number no. 1 from Collection Privé Paris, I get a Dior Sauvage-like fragrance, but better in my personal opinion. This one gives me way better performance. This does not give me a headache like the EDT of Dior Sauvage does. And I've gotten crazy reactions while wearing this specific fragrance. If you can find it, definitely do not overpay. I paid a pretty decent penny for these, but I wouldn't say I overpaid for them, but I wouldn't pay 70, 80, 90 and up for this fragrance. I would just for the simple fact that it smells almost like a clone, but who's to say? So at the number one spot, Imperial number one from Collection Privé. Paris. So I would just like to say in closing this video out, thank you all for tuning in and definitely do not be a stranger. Here is to smelling great. <laughs>